I'm going to be doing a little bit of an energy report. We do have um, an eclipse today, so I'm going to talk a little bit about these energies and how they're kind of leading us into 2020. And I'm going to be also doing Lumerian cards, so give me a second so I can find this feed and get it set up. I haven't been live for a little while, so I thought it was a good idea. Um, I've been needing to come give some energy reports to kind of let people know um, what is going on and how to kind of navigate these energies. So I'm going to kind of do an eclipse special, and I'm doing my usual Lumerian cards as well. So if you're going to want a card, go ahead, just drop a comment. Give me a second to share this feed out. If you're just finding me, take a second to do the same. I always need you guys to share this out too. It really helps with this awakening and the collective if we do. We never know who's going to find one of these videos, resonate with it, and kind of get into consciousness. So take a second and share this out. All right, we have a lot of really powerful energy still continuing to stream into the planet. Um, a lot of people might be kind of feeling the effects in different types of ways. And we know that sometimes when we're going through these shifts with a lot of solar and lunar energies combined, it can make it hard to sleep. Um, we do have an eclipse today. This is a solar eclipse. And we also have a new moon in Capricorn. We know that these eclipses come in pairs. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see a lunar eclipse on the 10th of June. January, but today we're going to shift through this kind of eclipse energy and that space in between these two eclipses is very powerful. This eclipse is going to act as a dimensional doorway or a porthole or kind of a bridge into 2020. So we're kind of getting a glimpse of how the energies will be as we're kind of going through these shifts ending up uh, ending this month in December too. So we're kind of seeing the new energies. Basically the frequencies are going up on this plan it and sometimes it takes your body a minute to adjust and then we do and we kind of go up some more so we're gradually kind of increasing in frequency and it's very important that going into 2020 we're taking back our power I could tell you so many stories about how prior to my awakening when the energies began to change on this planet around like 2012 with my kind of negative programming and limited mindset I began to have a really rough time because I was beginning to manifest with these energies and usually things I didn't want. I wasn't very consciously aware, right? I hadn't awakened fully and I didn't really understand that our thoughts and words are creating our reality. So, you know, there is some concern that people that are continuing to kind of live in these third dimensional programs and are stressed out or living in fear could begin to manifest these things since we're beginning to really instant manifest the things that we're thinking about on this planet. So kind of the theme and the message that we have for 2020 is that we need to take back our power and also take back responsibility for what it is we're creating in our world. I think a really good homework assignment, if you guys want something to do, this is what I'm doing in my life, is to really think about what you would like to see for 2020. Um, you know, I suddenly began to get really consciously aware with my manifesting and I've manifested every single thing that I've set out to, even really crazy kind of impossible things. So I'm going to really kind of, you know, until we enter 2020, think about what I want to see kind of manifest into my reality for 2020. We're also putting way too much focus on the material. We're going to see this as a theme in 2020 that we're here to work on ourselves, right? We need to really pay more attention to our physical body, our vessel, our experiences, the spiritual, and kind of step away from the material. If you look back at your life and how it has evolved in the past 10 years, hopefully it has evolved very much in a material sense too, where you may have even not be around the same environment. You might even be in a different place or, you know, have lost things completely. It's very important that we're shifting the focus on ourselves and really stepping into our, you know, powers manifesting this year. This is an amazing time. We're kind of ending a seven year, a Ascension cycle and a two year cycle in one and we have a beautiful space. We're going to really see a new collective shaped out of this too where everyone is of service. And so, you know, we can really see where these energy shifts are beginning to take us as the frequencies are kind of going up on the planet too. All right, my link is above.
if you guys need me, um, you know, you can always set up anything on my site. I tend to give back doing my videos about how my site's doing. So if you guys want more videos, you guys can always go to my site and support my mission. It tends to motivate me to do more mission, more videos. So I've been gone a minute. I've probably been gone like two weeks from doing videos. Um, sometimes people notice, sometimes people don't. If you want to see more missions, come book a reading, come support my mission, come purchase a class. It tends to assist the collective more. So it's time to really focus on the things that we're creating about what we want to see in our reality. This year I did a lot of really beautiful sacred sites, crop circles. I was trying to kind of do videos in some of these fun spaces. And I really have this really nice place where I can think about what I want to create for 2020. It's time to step outside of the box to get creative. This is what the universe will align with. New experiences. All right, let's see. I have an event on this page too for this <laughs> lunar eclipse, right? This is in January though, so that will be my next event on this page. So I will tell you that we do have a powerful, um, like I said, eclipse today. And then one on the 10th is gonna be really potent as well. We're gonna see a lot of political shifts, let's just say collective shifts coming in January. So January will be a huge month energetically for us. Jennifer Moncunzo Halizner. Rising to Pleiadian Frequencies, Sacred Bond, Healing, Clearing Space for Higher Energies. There is an awakening that is occurring, really a remembering of who we are on a soul level that is accompanying these kind of raises in frequency that we're going through. I like to think that a lot of the people that gravitate towards me are starseeds, and we're going to be feeling better and better as the frequencies are going up on this planet. We know that, you know, low vibration frequencies will draw low vibrational experiences, and the reverse is true as well. Well, um, so you know, we see a lot of divine things that are going to be unfolding as we go about this ascension. Look into your Pleiadian connection, Mallory Lane. Love it. Yes, vision boards, manifesting lists. Get some crystals out, right? Make sure you're cleaning your house too. I see a lot of people are getting organized, and we did shift into Capricorn, so we have a pull to kind of clean and get organized. I've been doing that all year, anyways, right? Trying to organize my life. Um, so we really have a pull to kind of stay work uh, work oriented too right now, Mallory. Arise, know and flow is the love that you are, bliss. We have a lot of upgrades coming in too, right? A lot of people are feeling all different types of ways. Um, so kind of just be in the moment right now, kind of be still, be in the flow. Our body's kind of going through a lot right now. So, you know, if anyone's maybe, you know, not feeling these energies, having a hard time with them, maybe just taking a minute for the physical body to catch up, just know that our minds are way ahead of our bodies. And this ascension is tending to put us too much in the head, right? Too much in the head. We need to go back to love's frequencies. So I see kind of where people are kind of trying to go back to like Atlantean times, being in the third eye all the time. Really focus on your heart chakra, being in the moment, being mindful. Pam Hinkshaw. Initiation, deep trust, deep healing, reconnection with all. And you know, your life is a series of initiations. I was trying to explain to someone that our ego tries to make up stories and process things in the most rational way that it can, but it's missing pieces of the puzzle. Sometimes we can't always see the big picture, all of the lessons, all of the experiences, but you can really look at your life as a series of initiations. So this is less about the lessons and circumstances you were put in and more about these are kind of tests this is an earth school Lisa White cosmic circle create sacred space embrace unlimited possibilities and you know we're going through this transformation and it's also transforming the collective we can see that you know it is raising the frequencies on this planet I'm not always sure about how everything will unfold. I just like to hold space and I understand that people are at different levels having different experiences and, you know, people's souls need different lessons to kind of evolve and grow. It's our job to kind of hold space for this awakening. Keep also working on your outer space. I like to think our outer space is a reflection of the internal space. Um, so, you know, if we have a lot of clutter, um, mess around us, things like that, it tends to throw our energy out of balance. Make sure that your outer reality is a good reflection of your inner one. More work on your sacred space. Nancy Roswell. Healing, it's why we can all come together now at a certain point and we all kind of had a rough journey. We realized that there is a need to heal. 
gentleness of love, realignment, transformation, and our body's going through a recalibration. I like to describe eclipse energy as a reset, a recalibration. So a lot of the times we're always kind of running around and going about our routine and we get real comfortable in our habits. And these eclipses come along and they really reset our frequency. Sometimes you feel stuck like you can't move. I feel like we're in an altered state of consciousness, which is something that I'm always kind of um, <laughs> looking into because of kind of the work that we do on the ley lines here. And I notice it really puts people in an altered state of consciousness. But so are these shifts and some of these alignments. So it might feel more like dreamlike this week. Some of you guys might be having more like drowsiness, lucid dream experiences, maybe not being able to sleep and things like that that is all normal um, whenever we kind of are getting hit with a lot of solar energy it literally is kind of activating and upgrading our pineal gland or our third eye so it's kind of a lot of upgrades going on now this is also the ring of fire eclipse I forgot to say that which I always like that term ring of fire I always think of different portholes or earth energies um, so for sure it's gonna kind of light the sky up in a ring of fire in some places as well Donna K. Brannon, know yourself, meditate, who am I? The veil is lifting and opening. You know, people are complex, the soul is complex. I try explaining this stuff. People are complex, the soul is, ex is complex. Our ego wants to label things as good and bad. Our experiences, um, a lot of the times the lessons that we're going through this life, we've been working on for many, many lifetimes. Um, you know, sometimes they're simple things like getting rid of fear, right? Transcending fear, clearing yourself as a channel, working on things like, you know, letting go of certain programming. Um, you know, things are a lot simpler than we believe, but we are getting ready to make this ascension. So on a soul level, our soul is pushing us very rapidly to clear up any type of experiences that we need to make this ascension. So while we might feel separate in these experiences, like I'm going about my own little individual path, it all comes together on a collective level and we all are learning together you know sometimes we play different roles and move around and we're kind of all experiencing different things but this comes together as a whole keep working on your spiritual self keep working on your ascension Jenny Krakowski forgiveness more heart chakra work see the bigger picture trust and heal um, that's some of the work that I do I try to help people see different um, things that they might not have seen sometimes we're so in our experience and we have this amnesia that we all kind of deal with and a lot of you guys are like I'm always saying conscious parenting and these kids kind of go through the same process where they forget who they are and kind of fall into these roles that we play here um, for sure work on more heart chakra healing things are not what they seem especially when it comes to um, we'll say our family situations our situations that we stepped into on this planet growing up we transcended so much karmic so many karmic experiences this life more forgiveness more working on your heart chakra try to work on the big picture I believe in the law of one and I believe that everyone is one and that if you want to get really deep about consciousness you are every person here and we have lots of timelines and realities and dimensions playing out as one but we all are kind of one in this experience so for sure work on more forgiveness seeing the bigger picture you know some of the problem with our childhood is a lot of these experiences had had a lot of time kind of go on in between right and so we're kind of at different levels of learning but I always say you know the kids are supposed to be more evolved and be teaching the parents lessons um, you know anyone who's parenting you can look at your kids like your inner child that you're healing an expression of your inner child right this pure essence of yourself keep working on some more inner child healing more heart chakra work more forgiveness let's see Lisa Troxell creation unique expression flow of creation joyfulness and we are here to create the new has not yet been created right as we're stepping into these new frequencies we're always talking about concepts such as the new earth right creating something new a lot of people are waiting for a solar flash and while that would not shock me if that played out because I look at um these solar flares and these bursts of energy as they're coming in as their own kind of energy bursts and they're getting stronger and stronger so I don't know what's going to happen but regardless if there is a solar or flash event that happens you know it's not gonna put people into this ascension we're gonna have to do the work ourselves right there's no flash there's no you know aliens that are coming to do this work for us we have to do this path on our own and we kind of have to do this ascension work so make sure that you're staying focused on your ascension now during this time it's very important as we're kind of stepping into a new cycle 
Scott Orr. Divine Feminine, receive your birthright, unconditional love. A lot of times we're healing wounds um, with different polarities. We can see that by our lessons, our experiences, and those that we draw to us. Work on your um, connection with the Divine Feminine for sure. It can be very powerful when we can come into balance with these polarities. Jennifer Marie Hargrave. Dolphin baby, Lumerian origin, flow, timeless, adaptable, free, take your time. Many of you guys will be drawn to, um, you know, the ocean and different animals here, whether it's dolphins or things like that. These are kind of reminders of past lives and things that we really used to love and places we used to love to be. Um, you're for sure a Lumerian starseed, though. It's part of the draw as to why some people tend to find me on these feeds when I'm doing Lumerian cards. Paige Lee Richmond. Integration. Forgive yourself and others. Reunion. Let go of defenses. Open the door. We tend to block our blessings with our programming that when we see the world as right, maybe people aren't so great, the world can be a scary place. We tend to create that. Be open. See the divine in everyone. See everything coming to you as an opportunity, perhaps a manifestation arriving. This is all about changing how we see reality so that we can create a new one. Joan Brody, Cosmic Self, this is you. <laughs> You're a cosmic being. Stay confident in your truth. And, you know, the reason why there's so much, um, we'll say, indoctrination to silence people or, you know, things with the throat chakra going on because the throat chakra is our gateway or connection to the fifth dimension. So it's really important that we're finding our truth. You never know um, who will be inspired by your story. A lot of people are just going through the experiences that you kind of came out the other side of. Um, so, you know, we are meant to kind of act as these way showers with this ascension. Nicole Kareen. Heaven on earth. This is where we're headed. <laughs> it looks like England too. Heaven on earth, right? Here's the tour. <laughs> You're invited to the fifth dimension. New earth, spirit and matter. Um, it's really important that we're staying focused, like I said, on the spiritual as we're kind of shifting into 2022. Um, it's really important that our manifestations are <laughs> more spiritually based too. You're for sure headed to the fifth dimension though and I'm really looking forward to it because 2020 will really allow us to anchor into these new frequencies too. Trisha Walker, key to your freedom. Healed inner child, create inner safety, self-kindness. Um, I was connecting with you a lot yesterday, right? I was sending you a lot of love yesterday, and you know, I can't, I'm just going to throw this out there that a lot of people go through these experiences where a lot of people and experiences get singled off of your path when you're going through this awakening or this ascension. Um, keep working on healing your inner child. How I'm doing that here, I just say I'm breathing more love into myself, right? I'm taking better care of myself. I'm someone who generally puts um, a lot of my time into other people above myself so I'm kind of breathing love into myself you know taking better care of myself like I might a child all of those things are really good for your inner child Christy Casimir travel inner and outer journeys believe in yourself big shifts um make sure that you're keeping like a dream journal or consciously working on your dream state i'm just kind of killing time here and waiting for 2020 because i have some class spaces on here and i'm going to get them going again and i'm going to be doing a lot of things like um dream work as you know right the chakras the third eye um and i'm going to be getting really into places like egypt um atlantis and lumeria um i have those on the group section of this page a lot of you guys know i do groups um for sure, pay attention to your dreams. Set intentions before bed. Use crystals. Use kind of techniques to be bringing this back. Our soul is traveling. It is journeying to other dimensions. And just as we're waking up in these dimensions, we're becoming more and more awake in these other realms as well. These are inner worlds, inner journeys. I think that we can tell that we go to sleep and at night we're in a dream experience and we're somewhere else completely in an inner world, right? Well, that's how it is where we are here now. And it's it's very important that we kind of unlimit how we're seeing this place and we're realizing that you know the same rules apply that we can instant manifest here just like you could in a dream or astral experience we should be able to literally instant manifest and get on that level so we have a lot of work to do but pay attention to your dreams you're seeing things whether it's you know little prophetic clips having deja vu right maybe I'm um, just remembering a glimpse of it these are messages coming to you 
Uh, Michelle Birch, Arcturians, Pure White Light, DNA Healing, Sacred Geometry. We're going through a lot of DNA upgrades right now. And for the next two years, our DNA is going to really continue to be worked on, <laughs> like a lot. So we're going through this kind of transformation with our DNA as well. Pay attention to your Arcturian connection. Let's see, Sienna Wolf. Oh, thank you. Blu-ray being. Direct divine expression, bridge between dimensions. And just as this eclipse is acting as a bridge between dimensions, so are we once we're awakened. We're able to tune in and understand and perceive different things with consciousness that most people can't perceive because people can only perceive what they're a vibrational match to. So if people are not vibrating high enough, they can literally not perceive, you know, the things in the higher dimensions, which are really beginning to be opened up and unlocked for us. So in whatever way, we kind of become our own gateway or our own porthole between worlds. In so many ways, um, you do have that connection as being a Blu-ray though. See, Linda Bonham, emergence. This is how we're going to emerge into 2020, right? Celebrate sensuality, joy, right to enjoy, truly living. And we need to learn how to focus more on the now because with the programming that we were kind of sold on, it became natural for us to always be looking forward to future events, whether it was something material we were going to purchase or an experience we were going to have or a weekend off, right? Or a day off, or maybe I'll do this then. We were always kind of focused on the future and then usually it will bring people a lot of anxiety and those experiences wouldn't even play out. So it's really important and that we're enjoying the now. This is meant to be like a beautiful experience and it's kind of like a roller coaster ride. Some people are hanging on like terrified, right? Going through life and things like that. But it was meant to be like a beautiful experience where everything was kind of planned out and mapped out and we could kind of learn how to let go and surrender and have trust and faith in the universe and kind of go with the flow. Rachel Farr. Cosmic heart source, source of all, true home, just be heart connection. Keep on working on your heart chakra. Um, we were just in Glastonbury and Stonehenge. And so, you know, that is really like the heart chakra vortex of the planet in Glastonbury. It really is the most powerful vortex on the planet and deeply connected, you know, as the center of the planet. So I'm doing a lot of heart chakra work here. Um, and it's powerful work because the work that we're doing is also assisting the planet and helping every person living on this planet keep working on your heart chakra this healing that we're being asked to do a lot of the times we're doing it for our families for you know the bloodlines that we came into um, for other people maybe our ancestors this healing work that we are here to do is very powerful keep working on your heart chakra Claire Kennywood flow release control divine will oceanic consciousness learn to just kind of let go like I said, things don't always go as planned. We had to kind of learn how to surrender and just kind of trust that the universe, you know, has bigger plans for us than anything that we could want to create. And, you know, it's been so amazing once I learned how to just kind of let go, surrender, do each day, a day at a time, and kind of go with the flow with things. We're more open to receive that way. Mursa Kavak Tamik. <laughs> surrender. Release misaligned energies, reattune to your truth. And like I said, this eclipse is bringing about a recalibration. So we're kind of going through an energetic adjustment. We're definitely going up in frequency very fast. Like I said, the next two months, just kind of go with the flow with it. Michelle Giannacala. Yes. Depths of love. Let go of fear to jump into love. Go beyond attachments. Time to let go. Keep working on your crown chakra. We're going through a lot of crown chakra adjustments. I think people can start, are starting to tell that their physical body is changing, whether it's how you're looking, right? Or your body or different areas, or maybe you're just kind of feeling or experiencing things. Keep working with your crown chakra. Daniela O'Leary. Divine Blueprint, Source Self Embodiment, Inspiration, Are You Ready? Let's see, Jenny Krakowski, 
Family of light, signs, guidance, innate and ancient wisdom. Pay attention to the signs, the guidance, the things that you're hearing, whether it's like getting a card somewhere, seeing a number code, seeing something that makes sense to you, synchronicities, dreams, just an internal knowing, um, sensing, right? Downloads, we sense a lot of the spiritual around us, right? Maybe things outside of our perception that we can't always see, but we can feel, or we can just kind of know. Jenny Han, light language. You should be drawn to light language. Universal language of oneness. Listen with your heart. Keep working on your heart chakra. Melody Gavin. <laughs> Stepping stones. Take the next step. Let go of the old paradigm. It's time to stop looking back. We're going to see, I said January is going to be like a tower card <laughs> moment. It's going to be like a tower card where things begin to fall in and crumble. And I think we all kind of know about that part of the process. And I think that's what happened with humanity, but that's kind of a topic for another day where people stepped away from the spiritual and then things kind of evolved to where we kind of woke up from. And now it's very important that we're getting back to the spiritual because anything not built spiritually is probably going to fall in at some point. I think we can see that, like I said, there's going to be a lot of kind of chain reactions going off around here involving things like politics and the banks and things like that. Harvey Davis. Oh my God. Yeah. It's a lot of energy coming in at night. And I say that because I do live in England, but um, even though I'm on a different time zone, it doesn't matter where you are. A lot of these upgrades are occurring when we're sleeping and huge waves of energy are kind of continuing to come into this planet. This is the new normal. And it's also why I've been getting on these videos and doing them a few years now, because I've been watching this increase in energy and the intensity. And I clearly have concerns about people and where they're at if they haven't done a lot of detoxing and preparation to be able to kind of vibrate on these new frequencies. So it's taking a lot of internal work. Make sure that you guys are detoxing. And if you're like, what does that mean? You can always just hit my business page inbox and I'll give you a really good vitamin list that I use. Um, but you know, it's really important that we're cleaning out the physical vessel and getting rid of kind of the 3D things like fluoride and metals. And if you were ever on medications, which a lot of people were and things like that, it's important that we're removing these kind of impurities too from the body. So more detoxing, it will help you ground. Um, a lot of times we do need more detoxing to be able to handle this stuff. We can look at a lot of past civilizations that did ascension successfully and they would have used a lot of kind of detox herbs and things like that. Let's see. Amy Robinson, storm, we're in a storm. Um, it's okay to feel it all, cleanse, collapse into the old, realignment. Um, a lot of times people are beginning, becoming more and more energy sensitive. We were talking about how the nervous system processes energy here. And if you're someone that had a lot of trauma, or things like that, then you might become really energy sensitive in all of this, right? Our nervous system becomes kind of hyper aware to the energy. So it's really important that we're healing any old traumas and things like that to assist us in our body being better able, um, kind of on a nervous system level, to process all of these energies coming in. Keep working on healing your inner child. Like I said, a lot of you guys, um, you kind of get a you get a chance to complete that cycle, anyone that is parenting during this time too, and a lot of people will be if they're not already conscious parenting, and you kind of get a chance to close out and complete a karmic cycle and kind of doing it a new way too. Deepa Sawa Gadaya. Share space, telepathy, co-creation, communing and honoring, and we're kind of open ourselves up to being telepathic again. All humans were meant to be, like I said, psychic, telepathic, and have these amazing spiritual abilities. And people are just for the first time in a really long time beginning to unlock these abilities. Keep working on your third eye. Keep working on, you know, staying more positive, consciously becoming aware of the things that you're trying to manifest. Abilities of the mind. Haley Donna Reed. Lumerian guide, sister, friend, teacher of infinite universal love, and this is you, <laughs> right? This is you, your Lumerian guide, which would be kind of past aspects of ourselves a lot of the time. Definitely, you know, we're kind of getting pulled back to other places. These places might have been considered mythological, but if you understand the nature of time, you would understand that they exist here in the now as well. And our soul is kind of leading us home on this journey. And these places are very much a part of our soul and kind of the experiences that shaped us into who we are now. 
Laura Hippie. Expression, authentic expression. Words are powerful, truth. I'm learning that too, that you know we need to be more careful with our words too. It's really important that we're understanding our words are not just shaping our realities. They're affecting other people's timelines, right? Um, for sure, they can heal or they can harm other people. So it's very important that we're realizing we came to create a new earth and we realize that we will come into these roles that we're playing now to do this and that was fine we realized we will be shaping and creating new worlds worlds simply with our words and our thoughts so it's really important that we realize that you know the things that we're thinking about they're going out there and shaping the collective everyone would love to blame the politicians and the cabal and the elite for the planet um, and continue to think toxic thoughts right and just kind of put the same stuff out there not realizing that maybe you're not seeing the things think about that you're uh Maybe you're not seeing the things you're thinking about, you know, coming into your reality, but we're sharing this collective, which is a collaboration of everyone's thoughts, dreams, words, lives, kind of shaping this collective consciousness. Um, so we're very much affecting the entire planet with the things that we're thinking about, the things we're talking about. It's important that we kind of become adept with our abilities. So really stay positive with your words. You know, I always say this almost every video that in past places they understood every word was magic. This is a place of magic, right? It's magic that you're even here, this expression of source. And so it's really important that we're kind of becoming adept with these things, especially our words. Ali Sears. Esnays and energies. Attuned to subtle energies. Balance. Frequency holders. And, you know, a lot of people are kind of going through this disorientation as we're waking up as to, you know, what, what should we be doing? What's my purpose? What's my mission? You know, why am I here? Things like that. Just know that we are here to be of service. And I believe that we first wake up and heal ourselves. And then we kind of get put to work doing something of service. That we're here to learn how to serve the creator on a lot of levels. Um, so really work on your energy. I'm just going to throw this out there too. That if any of you guys have not taken Reiki or been attuned to it you guys might want to check it out or go do it at this point there's a lot of excuses going on as to why we can't focus on ourselves and to heal kind of these things and work on our energy and they're not going to fly for 2020 because the energy is getting really really powerful around here so make sure that you guys are for sure putting your own spirituality first above things a lot of people are going to be very disappointed um, later when we go through a material transformation and everyone's working towards these material items and they they will dissipate and we're going to kind of, you know, change to a different reality completely and everyone might be a little bit disappointed as to how they were living their lives. So for sure, make sure you're working on your energy a lot. Sandra Cucci, Syrian Emissaries. Dream for the new earth. Time now for a magical life and you for sure have a Syrian connection. Colleen Williams. Lumerian Shaman, shadow dissolving in a gaze of truth, going beyond fear, initiation. And you should have a pull to kind of, you know, med herbal medicine, right? Herbs, the natural, healing holistically and things like that. A lot of you guys should know that. You know, I only got into this healing journey because, you know, the modern med med medicine wasn't working out very well. It wasn't healing me. It wasn't making me better. I was doing everything advised and this was what healed me. And so, you know, kind of put me on my mission now, kind of doing this as well and it's opened up so many doorways that are just mind-blowing to me um, I was explaining to someone this morning about how the illnesses we're seeing on this planet is from everyone not dealing with their traumas and issues and just ignoring it and it manifests into the physical we can see that you know emotional pain really will manifest into chronic or physical pain and we can kind of see how you know these kind of injuries like being spiritually sick will make you physically sick and there's such an inner connection with these things so it's really important that as we're going into these new frequencies we're not taking the same old garbage and baggage with us it's time to let it go to process it to heal it and like I said a lot of times our ego makes up these stories making ourselves the victim and everyone else the perpetrator not understanding the inner connection of these lessons so it's time to kind of fully process these experiences release them heal them for good the problem is is that if therapy was working you know the whole planet would probably be healed because that's kind of a modern paradigm where we see people recommended oh you should go to some type of therapy talking about past traumas is the worst thing that you can do like I said because we're continually recreating these things um, the physical body can't tell the difference between going through this trauma again and again at any time you bring it up or think 
think of it and things like that. So it's very important that we realize this healing is going to be done on energetic levels, right? Affecting our energy fields. Time to really let go of this stuff, release it. Keep working on healing your past. Let's see, Billy Joe Thompson, manifest. Co-creation, gratitude, divine alignment, joyful vision. I say the people who went through the craziest experiences were usually the stronger manifestors, right? The ones who went through the more trauma, the more crazy stuff, right? Because you've always been creating and you should notice there's an increase in what you're creating and the things you're thinking about as these energies are rising as well. Stay very focused on manifestor, manifesting. That is one of your abilities here. Christy Mabe, ships of light, um, beam up your vibration, open to your star family. We're becoming multidimensional again, so we're able to see and perceive more of what is actually around us, including these ships that are coming um, all over the planet now during this time. A lot of you guys are seeing ships in the sky. Um, we're kind of seeing more and more of these interdimensional experiences, and there is a lot in the spirit realm, the spirit dimensions, interdimensional, whether it is loved ones, aliens, angels, deities, right, guides. I could go on and on for like 20 minutes with that list. Um, so pay attention. You're being interdimensionally guided. We were never alone. We've always had, you know, guides, um, you know, and others that are guiding us during this time. I'm going to be getting off of here on that note. I will try to go live again tomorrow. Um, but if you guys need me, you know, you can always just set up anything on my site anyway. Um, I'm all caught up on my readings, so I am booking Akashic readings if anyone needs one or healing sessions.